Hello and welcome to today's episode of the Elite Health and Wellness Show. My name is Clay and I'm one of the co-owners at EliteHealthOnline.com and today I'm very excited to talk about a very important subject and that's sexual health. Not something that most people want to talk about but a very important uh, topic and something that's important for people's lives. And so today we have special guest Michaela Rivera and she is from Texas Star Pharmacy. She has a cellular biology degree and um, just an exceptional resource for the different treatments that are out there for weight loss, HRT, sexual health. And so today we're going to be specifically dialing in to the sexual health topic. So welcome, Michaela. Thank you, Clay. You've been here many times and um, your episodes are always really popular. So we're <laughs> excited today. I know this is a, a different topic, but it's something that's very important to folks. So sure. what uh, products are we going to talk about today? Sure. So, um, you know, the variety of, of products available for sexual wellness are becoming more broad for not just men, but also women. Um, so I think it's important to touch that, you know, a lot of the things that we talk about today have multiple, you know, facets for use, men, women. Um, so I think we could obviously mm -hmm. talk about, you know, the, the ones that people are most familiar with being, you know, PDE inhibitors, mm -hmm. probably. Um, so those are your things like sildenafil, tadalafil, or yep. Viagra and Cialis, um, respectively, which, you know, mm -hmm. most people are familiar with to right. get it from, you know, a, like a traditional pharmacy, you're going to get just right. that ingredient. Right. Um, and it's, it's not so tailored anymore. I feel right. like a lot of people have access to this and they are very familiar with mm -hmm. it, uh, whether it's a capsule or a chewable tablet. Yep. Um, I know that we work specifically with Elite and, and we bring notice to other things that you can combine mm -hmm. with PD inhibitors. So PD inhibitors. Well, for the audience real quick, yeah. they may not know what a PD inhibitor ah, is, but. Yes. They work to essentially increase vasodilation. Um, you know, again, they can be used for men and women, though right. Viagra Cialis are catered more towards. Well, back up for just one second, because mm -hmm. I think we don't want to lose the females in the audience today yeah. real quick. So when most people think um, sexual health, they get plenty of ads for the men, mm -hmm. right? We see it on TV, all it's, you watch, NFL football, ESPN, or any yeah. late night stuff, you're going to see things <laughs> advertised. Yes. But there is a lot for women as well. And you're going to talk yes. about both today. So yes. women, stay tuned because we're going to get to some things that are not on TV every day no. in your face. They're just no. not advertised. But there are things that can help with Absolutely. both. And I think you touched on that, but I want to yes. reiterate that. So. Yes, of course. So, um, you know, we'll get the men out of the way. So okay. we can get to the women. Okay. All right. Good. <laughs> PD inhibitors being those, you know, vasodilations, they really are going to increase, you know, erection arousal mm -hmm. um and a, it's a very physical manifestation mm -hmm. it does interact with nitrous oxide recycling mm -hmm. um and it's a very chemical reaction it's known proven it's really really well known mm -hmm. um i don't think we need to touch on a lot of that i mean the only thing that i would know is for people who may have tried these might not have had the best outcomes um you know might not have worked the best for them especially i would encourage you to to go talk to your practitioner at elite we do work with them to mm -hmm. create you know, formularies that incorporate things like citrulline, mm -hmm. which is involved in, you know, with arginine and citrulline are involved in nitrous oxide. It delivers the base medication, right? Mm -hmm. Sidenafil or Tadalafil much faster into the bloodstream. Yes. And what I really like about, maybe you could just touch on this quickly before we move past this, is most doctors are prescribing the pill form. Yes. So you just take one of the many doses, a, a low dose, a medium dose or a high dose with what um, we offer at Elite through you guys is the troche. Yes. And what I really like about the trochee is the person can kind of self-dose. Mm -hmm. So they can kind of play with biting the trochee in half, taking yeah. a fourth of the trochee, taking mm -hmm. a whole trochee, and see what the results are for them. Yeah. Because as opposed to getting a vial of pills and then mm -hmm. you're just kind of stuck with that One dose, yeah. um, they can kind of self-dose a little bit very safely with kind of trying different amounts, right? Yeah. Well, you know, like you said, and, and working with practitioners mm -hmm. and, and a subset of people who are familiar with personalized medicine. Now, that's the beauty of compounding pharmacies and the mm -hmm. relationship that, that we have is that gives you the opportunity to cater your dose to what works best for you. Right. Um, and you know, you guys are very easily accessible. If a dose doesn't, you know, work right. for this patient, you're always welcome to contact your practitioner at Elite right. and they can work with you on that. Sure. You know, yo him being, being another mm -hmm. um, additive in Which there. Which creates a surge of testosterone. Yeah. Correct. Well, mm -hmm. and it's related to, you know, ashwagandha. I bet our viewers are probably really familiar with ashwagandha, but it's a multitude of of constituents, yohimbine being one of them. Mm -hmm. And it's been around for a long time mm -hmm. in various, you know, cultures as a use in sexual medicine. Okay. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Didn't so yeah, it's been around for a, a hot, a hot minute. Um, so, you know, PD inhibitors, we'll set those over here. I feel like, you know, we can always touch back on those. Mm -hmm. 
Moving forward, one of the one of the most exciting ones, arguably, would probably be bremelanotide, mm-hmm. which is um, it's a melanocortinergic receptor. It's a peptide. Um, your viewers or people who are familiar with brand name drugs would know this as Bilisi. It's an FDA approved drug. Um, it was approved in 2019. Um, so it's been quite some time that it's been mm-hmm. out. Um, the mechanism is not incredibly well understood. No, we're talking about for viewers who may be looking at our website or searching mm-hmm. for what we're talking about, PT-141. PT-141. That's the developmental name. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, sometimes people ask me, where does that come from? Right. usually depends on the lab that these are found in. Mm-hmm. Uh, bremelanotide, PT-141, Vilesi, that whole thing is a FDA approved for females specifically. That is the original FDA approval. It's the only FDA approved drug for female sexual arousal disorder or hyposexual arousal disorder for women, which is really exciting because it's the only one. So unlike men, let's pause right there for a Mm -hmm. second. So with men, these Tadalafil, Sidenafil, the Cialis and Viagra's work in a physical manifestation, right? It's creating an erection, creating blood flow. Yes. So... But for women, the PT-141 is working yes. on the brain so to create desire. You have, mo- <clears throat> it works on melanocortinergic receptors. And you have those in the peripheral nervous system in your brain, mm-hmm. um, as well as, or excuse me, central nervous system mm-hmm. in the brain and your peripheral nervous system. So, okay. you know, those original effects that you're going to start to feel are an increased rate of blood pressure. And obviously vasodilation and increased rate of blood pressure is a physical feeling. Mm-hmm. The, the words that, you know, we see in a lot of anecdotal evidence is a hot and bothered feeling. Yes, yeah. I've took a shot before and everybody's like, what's wrong with your face? Oh, yeah. You, yeah, you get a flush <laughs> feeling for sure. Yeah, and you know, going off topic a little bit, one thing, you know, people notice is while while it does interact with those receptors and induce an increased libido, mm-hmm. it also does have a skin darkening effect. Mm-hmm. So we do see this increase in, in especially in the summertime, right. when people want to get a little bit more tan. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, I could use it. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like white. But, um, you know, it does help people build their tan, but... Going back to the FDA approval, it is FDA approved. Well, that's for how women. it was discovered, right? Was what people were it, the original medication was for skin darkening, right? To create a tan, and didn't it? Then they re- recognized that men were getting erections from taking the medication. Am I wrong about that? I don't know. I'd have to review. I want to say that's how it was discovered. Okay, I would not. That be it was surprised. originally a medication used to tan the skin yeah. well, naturally yeah. without yeah. the sun and then and i could be wrong so the audience don't take this but i believe <laughs> that that's how it was discovered and then these men reported that they were getting these or, you know yeah. spontaneous erections and yeah. that's what caused it it's possible i know it's a downstream product of melanotan yeah and i think that those two kind of went hand in tan yeah. with the, that addition. scratch that yeah. in case i missed it but <laughs> no problem it's a great discovery of yeah. well i actually know viagra and cialis were discovered that way yeah they were heart medications yes 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 yes, yes. Yeah, well, so maybe i'm Mixing my stories. Well, that's probably, I think, the only, you know, side effect wise, Mm bromelantide, these things are, like I said, they're FDA approved. They're very safe. You know, an increased rate of blood pressure and skin darkening are really the primary two side effects you'll feel there. Um, A little bit of mild nausea. So if you are sensitive to medication, you might ask for some Zofran. Um, But, you know, while we were talking about women and like you brought up, Mm -hmm. this is completely safe and very usable for men as well. Um, So So for men, it's going to create kind of like a Cialis or... Yes. Viagra type mm-hmm. reaction, but much stronger. Yes. Yes. I do hear, you know, it's, it's something that you don't want to take more than twice a week, three times a week. Most mm-hmm. often the dose for men is actually, sometimes men seem like they don't need as much mm-hmm. to feel that that affects. It's mm-hmm. a little bit more intense for men. Mm-hmm. Um, for women, you know, you can, you can titrate that dose as, as necessary. There are, but it's not going to create a, a, a desire a libido effect for men for women though right it's yes. working on central right yeah. to create desire yes yeah. yes so yeah. for women who might already have an existing you know hyposexual arousal disorder mm-hmm. where they don't have the drive and it's not their fault you know mm-hmm. we all have so many modifications sure. in libido hormonally physically mm-hmm. um you know stress all mm-hmm. these things and here's an fda approved drug that gives you the opportunity to kind of get back to where you you felt like you know mm-hmm. you might have been, and it's important for for women who who feel this way that you go back and watch some of our previous podcasts mm-hmm. on things like hormones. Um, again, there's always a comprehensive approach to to wellness, mm-hmm. sexual wellness, hormones, mm-hmm. weight loss, everything. Um, so getting your levels checked regularly is is something that's very important. 
Um, and and using this is a is a great FDA approved drug that's available. Mm-hmm. It's cost effective, more usually more cost effective than Bilesi is. Mm-hmm. Um, and and it's something you know at your disposal, men and women, especially men who have you know tried PDE inhibitors. If you tried PDE inhibitors and you're like, eh, maybe this might not be for me, we would encourage you to to mm-hmm. go on and try this as well. It's mm-hmm. another great great peptide yep. to be utilized. Yeah, it's amazing as we talk to patients how. Again, you got an 80 20 rule, right? Mm-hmm. 80% of the time, this medication is going to work and do the trick. <laughs> yes. For other patients, they really need it. They'll have to try a couple of different things to kind of find the magic bullet. Yeah. So well, I think it's just important to know. A lot of people just don't know that there's multiple options out there. Yes. And so, you know, that's the beauty of, of these podcasts that we get the opportunity to be on is we can be very transparent. Mm-hmm. So while we have these peptides that are a very physical feeling, you know, mm-hmm. PDE inhibitors <clears throat> being, you right. know, not a peptide and, and Bilesi being a peptide, we also have another option that's more of a a mental manifestation being um, oxytocin mm-hmm. or for our viewers who might be familiar with, you know, the hospital, we call this Pitocin. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't want to give this to pregnant women, right? Um, you know, being uh, along with bromelanotide and some other peptides, you don't really want to give that to right. pregnant women. Mm-hmm. Um, oxytocin is a, it's a hypothalamic neuropeptide. Right. It's also a hormone. It's argued either way. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of really, really great data on oxytocin in various different, um, you know, designations. So there's good mental health, which we'll come back to being, you know, anxiety, but also pain um, and libido. Mm -hmm. So in women, the good data on this was, you know, increasing their opportunity for climax. There was a Mm -hmm. distinguishable data that indicated that women who supplemented with oxytocin had a greater rate of orgasm Mm -hmm. versus, you know, anorgasmic women who did not supplement. Um, Men, also, so men, it was not so much an ability to orgasm, however, more of a, um, you know, more likelihood to initiate, okay. which stems back to that anxiety effect, you know, mm-hmm. performance anxiety, things like that are yeah. very natural, common, but you have the ability and access to these medications that can help you, you know, feel more mm-hmm. comfortable. So let me get practical for a second. Sure. So for a lot of people, I think just again, getting super practical, mm-hmm they're kind of waiting sometimes for the desire to hit them, right? Yeah. As opposed to getting close on the couch, giving yourself time, and then knowing that the, the feeling follows after that. Mm-hmm. Isn't it true that oxytocin is the hormone that's really, or the what's released in our body when women breastfeed, when they yes. are close, after sex, how they feel, that's the hormone that's released. Yes. Yeah, so you And so when you, uh-huh. when you supplement with this, you're kind of speeding up this that's desire awesome. To, to be intimate. Yes. Correct? So oxytocin has a lot of different names. You'll mm-hmm. hear it called the love hormone, the cuddle you know, drug. The cuddle drug. Mm-hmm. My personal favorite is the bonding hormone. Yeah. Um, because you don't, you don't flood oxytocin normally. Right. You know, the key instances in which you flood oxytocin is, you know, when you give birth, right. or when you're breastfeeding, but also in times of trauma. Mm-hmm. So once you have, you undergo trauma, you know, with another person, you develop really bond. a bond. Mm-hmm. And so we don't want you to, you know, we don't, obviously we don't want our patients to undergo trauma, Mm -hmm. but taking oxytocin gives you the opportunity to build that bond, Mm -hmm. be more comfortable. And then you don't feel like you're actively forcing yourself to reach this mental state. You have this bond that you're growing. It might already be People have so much stress in their life. They're busy. They got kids, they got work, you've got keeping the household. And then here comes evening and now, I don't know. Yeah. And the way I look at this Medicaid, it's a very, it will create better moods. I mean, it's not all about sexual no. activity, mm-hmm. right? It creates overall feeling of just good Content. feeling, yeah. um, you know, just overall better health and how you feel, yeah. but it will help with wanting to be more intimate Absolutely. when it becomes time. Yeah. And it helps you be successfully intimate. It doesn't make you feel, you know, like, especially in or anorgasmic women right. gives you the opportunity to, you know, obviously feel successful, but same for men, you know, you feel a little bit more connected. So whereas bromelanotide mm-hmm. gives you that very hot and bothered feeling, mm-hmm. I have heard oxytocin be regarded as after I've had a glass of wine, mm-hmm. and after you have a glass of wine and you're on the couch, that, that feeling that you mm-hmm. get mentally. Just a little more relaxed. Yeah. yeah relaxed, comfortable. It does, you know. The, the ongoing data for oxytocin, a lot of that is mental health. Now, oxytocin can be to- taken just daily as a supplement. Uh, you can take it in a trochee form. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, they even have intranasal. Along with bromelanotide, there's an intranasal option, mm-hmm. um, as well as an injectable. And for so. folks that don't remember what a trochee is, that's just an oral 
let it dissolve in the mouth. Mm -hmm. Put it in oh. your cheek, um, yep. and it'll, you know, obviously, mm -hmm. you're very vascular. But it can be mouth. used daily. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's say, you know, it's usually in a 100-unit, uh, you know, um, trochee. Mm -hmm. And again, it gives you the opportunity to, to tinker with your dose. Um, you know, if you're like, hey, I'm not really feeling the effects of this, mm -hmm. obviously contact your, your healthcare provider and they can work with you to come up with a customized dose. But that's the beauty of the trochees. You can break them up and, right. and use them, you know, as, as needed right. to create the dose that right. you'd like. Excellent. So, yeah. What else about oxytocin? Anything else the audience need to know? No. Very I, affordable. Yeah. Very safe. This is a natural thing that's in your body that you're just mm -hmm. supplementing. So. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, these... PDE and sexual health wealth and that sort mm -hmm. of stuff, you know, hormones and there are natural ways to increase hormones. Mm -hmm. There are natural ways to achieve weight loss. Once it comes to sexual health, sometimes you, you know, there's nothing wrong with seeking out a provider to, mm -hmm. to get some help because it's hard mentally yeah. and physically to, to achieve the level of, you know, sexual arousal with which you're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, and thankfully these are, you know, cost effective, very right. available. They're not controlled substances. Right. Um, yeah, well, I mean, look, the reality of it is, <clears throat> I think most, the audience we're talking to today is, you know, 35 to 65, right? That's mm -hmm. kind of our target clientele and patient. The reality of it is, um, again, going back to how busy people's lives are, mm -hmm. we kind of have a joke around our house. There's <clears throat> my wife at home and then there's my wife on vacation. <laughs> yeah. Why is she so different on vacation? Mm -hmm. And she's amazing at home. I don't want her to hear me saying she's not, but there is a difference. And I talked to a lot of guys who are like, oh my God, my wife, we go on vacation and she's like, you know, this, this old, you know, who was, who is this? Again? I hadn't seen her in a while. Mm -hmm. It's because the mind's yeah. right, relaxed and free and there's not the stress. Mm -hmm. I think the oxytocin, what I really hear people talk about is it just kind of puts them in that more in that vacation yeah. kind of mode, the vacation. right? I mean, yeah. just a little bit more willing and yeah. feel connected. And again, with the busy lives, it just be, that would be something that's very important to keep that going on a daily basis. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So well, that's kind of how, kind well, of how I, I, I haven't it. heard, I, you know, I've heard body hormone, but I like that. I like vacation mode. Yeah. I think that's because everyone, we undergo so much stress in our daily right. life, you know, work and Right. You know, what you have children too, and that does impact and you develop those bonds with your children when you give birth and you have got to have time for your, your husband and, and yourself, mm -hmm. you know, and yep. even if you're not married, your boyfriend, whoever, your partner. Right. Right. Um, and it's important that, you know, like we, like we always touch on, there's a comprehensive mm -hmm. approach to everything, yep. weight loss, wellness, sexual health, all these things go in to give you, you know, a quality of life. Right. So while this is a, you know, a sexual wellness drug, Try to consider that, you know, especially oxytocin, you know, mm -hmm. these are, these are, um, you know, living drugs. Yep. These, these, these are improving your, your quality yeah. of life drugs because yeah. it gives you the opportunity to connect with the people around you, yeah. um, feel a little bit more, you know, involved mm -hmm. back to the, to the state that you want to yep. be in. Yep. You're not taking anything that's going to, you know, a lot of people, antidepressants right now are just so overutilized. I had a yes. patient this, uh, last week that went to the ER and left with, an antidepressant. Yeah, I'm like, how do you go to the ER and leave with an antidepressant? But yeah. um, people will take that because their doctor prescribes it. But then when we start talking about these things, that'll just they're just like supplemental to help mm -hmm. seem yeah. a little resistant. And I'm yeah. like, it's not a crutch. It's really not. No. It, you know, not like that at all. No. What else? So besides oxytocin, um, what are some others? Anything else? I would say you know that things are always growing. Mm -hmm. Things are always kind of changing in, in science and these fears that are coming out. Um, speaking of, you know, antidepressants, we always want people to kind of, you know, um, encur we encourage usually our, our patients to go through different routes. You know, mm -hmm. one yeah. thing that people will... Because those have a lot of side effects with sexual health. Yes. Well, you know, being the lack of ability to, right. to even, no. you know, become... So you want to talk about, well, I'm not depressed anymore, but I yeah. mean, no, uh, you know, decrease your change your sex life and yeah. that'll be reason to go into yeah. depression. Yeah. I mean, it's like, ah, <laughs> kind you know, of I, opposite of what you were looking for. <laughs> I do see some data in people who may be using, you know, antidepressants almost off label mm -hmm. for, you know, to aid in delayed ejaculation. So they'll oftentimes use, whether it's, you know, a, mm -hmm. a, a tricyclic antidepressant and a PDE inhibitor together mm -hmm. to increase arousal. I'll be, you know, delaying ejaculation mm -hmm. if they have that issue. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, again, always, Always reach out to your healthcare provider. But you guys have a new product that's actually helping with that, right? Yes. So this yeah. is the clomiphene vardenafil? Clomipramine and vardenafil. Okay. Yes. So All clomipramine right. being a tricyclic antidepressant. Okay. Um, and while these two haven't been, you know, used in studies together, um, independently, 
Clomipramine in particular has been studied really well for patients who, you know, did have premature ejaculation problems. Mm -hmm. Vardenafil being another PDE inhibitor, mm -hmm. while it's not, it is still a PDE5, so that would be so the same class of drugs as sildenafil and tadalafil. Mm -hmm. uh, using them together, the, the hope there is that, you know, we can increase the, the rate of arousal, you know, the intensity of, of erection, I'll be delaying ejaculation to give those patients who may have that existing issue, okay. um, you know, a little bit more of an opportunity. All right. So anyone suffering with that, we have, we now have a new product yeah. to, to help with that as well. Yeah. Well, and it's always, you know, Vardenafil being a little different than, you know, Cialis and Viagra. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a daily. It is a daily. Yes. So no having to think about it. <laughs> no, that's the one thing with the, the PT-141. Um, I kind of tell patients, you better well, you know, make sure something's going to happen if you're going to take that medication because yeah. it's... It's not like the product we're talking about here at the end. I mean, this is a, it, there's something's yeah. going to happen. Well, and it's like, depending on the patient, you know, 10 minutes, yeah, 20 minutes. could be four hours. Could be four hours. So, yeah. you know, we always encourage you to block some time yeah. the first time be you prepared. take it. Be prepared is what I tell people. Mm -hmm. And then you'll kind of figure out how quickly it hits you. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, and... All right. Well, anything else today? No. All right. Well, no, I, think I think the audience so. will find this very, very helpful. And <laughs> sure. again, um, you know, take a look, go to EliteHealthOnline.com, check out our website, cruise around, take a look at the different options and medications that we have out there. Um, book an appointment. You just click at the very top on book telehealth appointment. There you'll be uh, directed to a calendar, pick a date and time that works for you. You can simply set uh, an, a telehealth appointment where we'll call you at the designated date and time and go over all of your options, uh, understand exactly what you're dealing with, and then come up with a plan that works for you. So if you're looking for weight loss, hormone replacement therapy, hormone optimization, sexual improvement with your sexual health, we've got all the solutions there for you or just wellness and anti-aging. So check out our website. We look forward to serving you online. Thanks for being with us today.